told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you Good morning everybody I'm David Wood for Bag TV Now, today I'm up mega early I am at The Hot and Tasty Calf Ready for a lovely breakfast It is quarter past seven Can you believe it? Quarter past seven Um I'm waiting on Nosha because we're teaming up today. We're doing a teams event at Wasbury Reservoir. One fish for all fish, one fish for silverfish. Alternate banks, concept run by Graham Wall. I'll give him an hand. He, he knows that. Hey, I just walked right close to my car. That is stupid. Idiot. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting on Nosha and I'll uh, get a breakfast So I'm gonna get in there now and then we've got a lovely day at Wasbury Res, one of my favourite I'm fishing for carp, Nosha's fishing for silver, so it should be a good day Let's get in there and get some breakfast Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Run Gotta the build up on my thoughts Fall. sitting in an ashtray I'm Fall. sorry that I'm so inconvenient, oh, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me, well then baby I've a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we can be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong Right, here we are, we're all set up. We've drawn pick 13, which I'm not too disappointed with because I'm not in the top section, I'm in the bottom section, but <clears throat> it is a little bit colder today. Um, quite frosty, well, not frosty, but um, quite cold this morning, like seven, eight, uh, six, seven degrees. Um, but I'll turn you around, I'll show you where we're pegged, and then I'll tell you where Nosh is drawn. So this is us, peg 13, we're just in the water. So 11 downwards is that section. We've got Adi Wood next door, Gav Smith. Uh, Nick Speed has drawn peg one, flyer peg one. Can you believe it? George Jagger's in two. <clears throat> Brett Clark down there, some really good anglers. Uh, some really good anglers down this side as well. Um, who have we got down there? Alan Barker, um, Dave next door, John Egg, expert at fleets, and Daz all is on the MPEG. So this is where we are. Got one rod set up, all my wafters, um, my critical wafters, my two uh, mill carp and course pellets, which I do <clears throat> with a bit of krill on them. So we're all set up, ready to go. Now Nosha is over there. He's drawn peg 42, which is the MPEG on Kip's wall, which is not very good. That's why he's on his own. 
um, so he's there and then he's got one two three four five six he's got middle of that bank where the better pegs are so I think he's got his work cut out for him to be honest but you never know the wind has started blowing down this way and he's got an M peg as nosher so if he can catch quite well um, it's not produced for quite a long time down there on Kipps Wall even though it is well, it were a good area but it's not anymore so that's where we are we're all set up we're raring to go so it's on section points today um, and then if there's a draw it'll be on weight but I'm in this section further down here so it's the deeper water um, you never know with Woodsboro um, it could be one anywhere that's why I like coming here so um, yeah I'm just going to chuck a method hopefully catch some carp and uh, hopefully have a really nice day so snack wise even though it's a feeder match We've got some snacks today, and I don't really bring snacks now because I have a breakfast. I'm trying to not bring loads of snacks, but we've got a Lucasaid sport. We've got a picnic. 60p for a picnic, that's banging uh, value for money. We've got some sweets. I thought I'd bring some Haribo's just to keep me going. A packet of discos, they're old school, aren't they? Um, and then we've got water, a Vinto, and then a Yorker raisin and biscuit. Remember them were not for women. That were bad, weren't it, that really? But there you go. That's a snack attack. Let's see what happens. Hopefully catch some fish. Right, we're a minute from the off now, so we're gonna get chucked in. See what happens.
took bloody rod round. Hybrid or something. Slam it round. Nice to get one under the belt in it. Even if it is a skimmer, I did think it were a car though. The way the rod slammed round.
Right, so I've had a few skimmers now. That's my mix. Plenty of micros. The red one's what I do. And then I've got some sticky method pellets and all in there. It's just bind it better, that's all. And then wafter on the hook. Easy as. Loads of different flavours. Make sure it's all set right. And then I'm just going to make a feeder while my rod's out. Give it a good squeeze. And then just trim it up. He's in. Gav's in. And that's it. Perfect to go out. Let's hope for we can catch some carp. a knock on that and I thought it was going to go round and then it just stopped it just went like that and then just stopped if it goes again
No. Cracked up. Right. Well, we're halfway through in the match. Um, I've had four skimmers and a decent bream. Um, further down there, I think Alan Barker's got a carp. Dave's got a couple of skimmers next door and Andy and Marson has got a couple of skimmers. But I can't see around that corner so I'm not too sure what they've caught. But I do know Alan Barker's got about an eight pound carp so I'm not too sure what else he's got. Alan Norrish on the other side, my partner, has got two skimmers. He says he can't get anything else and he's lost a bream. Well done Alan, I don't know. I'm just having my crisps. I think we're doing alright in this section, but we've not had a carp yet. So I'm hoping that we're going to catch a couple of carp. But we seem to be up there in the shallows. And up behind the shallows, I've heard Nick Speed's got seven carp. Um, Gab's got a carp. Graham's lost two carp. It's all going off up there. They've got they've had carp a piece and skimmers and all sorts so we're not too bothered about that we've just got to concentrate on our section and make sure Alan gets uh, some good section points so we'll just see AD cast out because I've been casting my swim all day yeah he's, he's all right he's all right I'll let him off with that so that's it really that's your update um, just need Alan now to catch some fish. He says no one's catching round him. Everyone's struggling over there. But just hopefully um, he gets an another couple of bream and 10 to 12 pounders. It's a decent weight, I think, over there. But I'm going to crack on here. I do need a couple of carp, I think, to uh, have a shot in our section. Because uh, this, I'm sure someone will get another one or what have you down here. So anyway, we'll carry on. Um, and we'll see what we can catch. Oh. 
Why don't you come down? Alright. Really oh, hey. uh, let me bring you back in two minutes. Right. You alright? Yeah. What are you up to? Oh. Let me cast this out and I'll come and get you. You can come sit down. to see you. <laughs> hey? There ain't there's loads up there, isn't there? Oh. Is that why you win? No, it's it's just easier easier to cast. What and then and then nosh your last over there? He's only had two skimmers. Yeah, you've got free calf on you.
Two ups in this one. One from you, one from Graham. Hey. got up and the fishing's got worse but uh, I have had two carp now and four or five skimmers um, Dave next door well we're into the last hour by the way and Dave next door has just had two carp on dropping two casts um, big ones as well um, I thought I was doing really well in the section and then Dave cropped up with two carp in the last 10 minutes and there's still plenty of time to uh, catch another one um, I've heard down there that someone's got a couple of carp, but we'll just have to wait and see. All you can do is your best, keep going. Nosher, <clears throat> I heard from Nosher about half an hour ago, and he said he got three skimmers. So he said there's not a lot being caught over there, but he needs to pull his bloody finger out and uh, catch some fish. So 
Um, I think Nick Speed's won the match. He's got um, seven or eight carp now. Um, and there's a few fish coming out further up. So we'll just have to wait, see what this last hour brings. And hopefully we'll get another couple of fish, but uh, after that carp I've had, I haven't had anything else. So come on, Nosha, get going. Right, after that, it's chucked out and I think it's a skimmer. get this one in. Not long left now so every fish counts. Let's see if we can get this one in. No pressure. Not like putting this in under a lot of pressure. But there's a lot of fish come out so we'll see what happens. be good to catch a roach, aren't you? <coughs> Get in. That's all I can catch now. A roach. Right, let's get back in. Well, that's it. we like a minute. And uh, I look down there and Alan Barker's got a carp on. <sighs> Can't believe it. Look up there, Gav's got one on, adie has got one on. I've had one roach in the last hour. Um, not very good. Don't know what's happened in the last hour. But it is what it is. Should be calling time in a second, so anyway, we'll get weighed in, see what we've done, see what Nosh has done. It is what it is, isn't it? You can only do your best, so that's it. Well, in a second, isn't it? Unless it goes round. Time! That's it. We'll see you what we weigh in. Never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Yeah, 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 yeah. Fade away 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 Section 2 all species, man. We're 36 pounds six and peg 12 is David Wood. No, no, no. Cheers, man. 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 Section 2, 7 man section, 20 pound 12 ounce, brand new regular, peg 52, Mark Jackson. Yeah. 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 Great, moving on to Overall. In third place, picking up 150 pounds. With six points. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up 150 pound is Christian Milton and Mark Jackson. Six, six points. Here's a five who are the one. Look, there's loads of sevens and eights, and that's what you do to about making a section to get less time. Second place with four points, picking up 200 quid. Brandon Fowler and Matt Anderson. Right on that. Lords on seven points, mate, Lords. Oh, yeah. Yeah, third, six. They're on it. They're on all ties. They're on a three points and four points and a six. Lords on seven. Yeah, they're on the sheets. 
And you win us today for three points. Nick picking up one, Kyle picking up two, winning two hundred and fifty pounds is Kyle Hartley and Nick Speed. Oh, oh, Right, that's the end of that one. Uh, just been in the pub, got the results. Alan's drove off shamefully, and uh, Alan ended up coming seventh in his section, second to last, with ten pound ten, and I've ended up winning mine with thirty six pound. Uh, we've had eight points, which has got us probably about six or seventh in the match but um yeah so i've had a go at alan he, he went off crying in car and uh, i don't think i'll see him again so i'm joking by the way um alan he ended up having three four bream i think for 10 pound odd and he said he just couldn't catch anything and I thought he was going to catch some smaller bits while he was catching bigger bream and what have you and he just couldn't catch anything so he's not be, it's not the greatest area that on Kip's wall at the minute he's drawn on Kip's wall but uh, not not the greatest area but it's only fishing isn't it it's only fishing but if Alan could have could have got we needed six points to get third so if Alan could have got four or five points He'd have got us third, but there you go. Never mind. Um, so, the winner of the match, Nick Speed, and his partner have won the match. I'll put the results up for you now. Uh, they've had three points. Then it's been... Um, God, can't even remember. Matt Anderson and his partner. Can't remember your names, but you're on the screen now. And then it's been Chris Trimmel and uh, Mark Jackson third. So paid top three, those were the top pairs. Um, you can have a look at all the results, all the boards and all that stuff. But um, yeah, shame that, shame that it's, it were a pairs match today that uh, Alan just couldn't get any more, to be honest, because I've done all right, won my section and then just not, just not had that back up. But if it is what it is, and um, what can you do? I've um, I've had a chat with Alan and he's a bit disappointed. He couldn't do any more, so it is what it is, isn't it? There you go. Um, but really nice day, nice set of lads down at Woodsborough. I don't understand why there ain't any more matches down there, but we're trying to get them on. So if you do want to come up and have a fish, um, get on their Woodsborough Facebook page and have a look. It's the Woodsborough Match Bookings, I think open match bookings on Facebook have a look on there and get in these matches because they're fantastic um, yeah so um, we've got the Barnsley feeder pairs which is in a couple of weeks on there as well so that'll be a good match if you do want to book on the Barnsley feeder pairs I still think we've got a few spaces left which is one person goes to Fleets one person goes to um, Woolsborough and I'm pairing up with Graham Wall for that so Nosher you've been sacked um, he's gone off crying in the car and uh, I've got Graham Wall in so um, there you go so that is it guys hope you enjoyed the uh, day I certainly have great day at Woolsborough really enjoyed it well done to all the framers and a nice little section win for me so I were going to share it with Nosher but I've just said to him look You've had all my worms. I've told you how to fish it. He hadn't done a thing right. And he ain't having half my money either. So blow you, mate. Uh, that is it. They'll be ringing me in a bit. Apologising. Right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hats, hoodies, t-shirts, all available. Ring me at email, mate, at baguptv at gmail.com. I'm just holding the camera while we go around this corner. And... If you want to become a member, loads and loads of members, watch these videos before anybody else. Tackle Talk, what I'm doing in the week, all behind the scenes footage uh, for the members only. Hit join, become a member, and um, yeah, pick which option you prefer. Become a member and watch all the members only videos. There's over 120 videos, so 
thanks for everybody becoming a member if you have if you want to give us a super thanks for this video you can do in the description there's a little icon what says super thanks with a heart on i think click that and you can give us a super thanks on there it'd be much appreciated everything goes back into trying to make these videos better for everybody else and just moving forward buying more cameras doing more stuff trying to get out on the bank that's what it's all about you helping me fish these matches and it's much appreciated so that's it guys thanks for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it i'm gonna go home tonight i think i'm having sunday dinner it's sunday today um so i'll be having sunday dinner nice uh roast beef i think that'd be nice wouldn't it just before i go massive thanks for graham wall for running in the match i know how hard it is running matches uh, i've helped him weigh in and what have you a little bit and done the results with him so thanks to graham wall and dave small for helping help him run the match as well so that's it thanks for watching we'll see you soon keep on bagging Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Hi guys, thanks for tuning in on the video If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome playlist down here Make sure you hit the subscribe button And if you want to become a member, hit the join button Thanks for watching the video guys We'll see you soon, keep on bagging